Robert Downey Jr. might have played one of the world's best superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe films, but Downey Jr. wasn't always as put together in real life. Behind Robert Downey Jr.'s joyful smile and silly nature hide the remnants of a dark past. His struggle with substance abuse in the past is not unknown to anyone. However, his recovery makes for an even greater story. Behind his legendary comeback lies the hand of his wife Susan, who saved him from ruining his career. Here's their love story filled with pain, triumphs, and overwhelming adoration. Throughout the 80s and early 90s, Robert Downey Jr. had been in and out of rehab three times. The actor has been slipping deeper into addiction. In 1996, he was even convicted for drug possession and an unloaded firearm. He also missed multiple court-ordered drug tests until he was sentenced to three years in prison in 1999. But he did not become an addict out of the blue. Downey was first introduced to marijuana at the age of eight by his father, Robert Downey Sr. Both his father and mother struggled with substance abuse. The example from a parental figure did something to his young psyche and later led to a full life of struggles and regret. In his teenage years, Robert showed an interest in acting and had no issue landing roles using his bad boy charm. Success didn't make him wait long and in 1992 he was already nominated for the Oscar for Best Actor for his performance in Chaplin. Downey Jr. was only 27 years old at the time, and things only went downhill from there. In 2001, he found himself on a brilliant TV show Ally McBeal. After all, everyone still believed in Robert's impeccable acting skills. As it turned out, the actor violated his parole. He was found barefoot walking around Culver City, California. He was then arrested on suspicion of being under the influence. After this, he got fired from the show and was ordered to seek rehabilitation by the court. Downey Jr. was released from rehab a year later and found himself on film sets once again thanks to the support of industry colleagues like Mel Gibson. In 2003, Robert slowed down and accepted a role in Gothica, which turned out to be the most fateful decision of his life as it brought him together with his future wife. Susan Levin was a 29-year-old film producer when she met Robert Downey Jr. Their introduction to each other was anything but love at first sight. As a lifelong straight-A student who's made only good decisions in her life, Levin viewed the problematic actor as strange, even though she considered him a brilliant actor. To her, the actor was like a professor or someone's older brother. She didn't for a second think about anything romantic with him. Still, she and Downey Jr. got along, and their romance has since turned into a fairy tale for the actor. She's been referred to as the miracle who saved her husband's life. In an interview with Extra TV, Robert and Susan were asked about their first date. They were surprised to find they had different answers. That was when Robert found out that, while she was starting to get interested in him, she didn't realize when he first asked her out to dinner that he meant it as a date. They had a good laugh talking about it and remembering how Susan thought it was weird that they didn't wait for the rest of the cast and crew when they would normally all go out to eat together. Well, well, it seems to have worked out anyway. Only after a couple months of dating, the actor went down on his knees and proposed to his producer. Levin recalled that she got to know the good side of her future husband before they became an official couple. Also, the guy I met was not that person, she continued. He was clean and sober, completely professional when he was working, and then, in the off hours, he was just a fun guy. She didn't even think twice when the actor proposed to her. More than anything, I never doubted it. There was something in my gut that knew really quickly I knew three months and that this was it. But things were not the easiest for the couple. Susan eventually met the dark side of Robert as she expressed to Harper's Bazaar. That was a wake-up call for Susan and she delivered a decisive threat to RTJ. This isn't gonna work. I made it clear that to stay with me, nothing could happen. 
This ultimatum propelled Robert to throw all his drugs into the ocean at the Pacific Coast Highway and he vowed to remain sober. When asked about her reputation as the miracle that saved Robert Downey Jr., Levin just shrugged it off. But Downey Jr. had some explanation about her influence on him. I guess the only way to explain it is that I've become more like her. I'm still trying to figure out what happened, he confessed. Whatever I was hungry for when I met Susan, I couldn't have known how much more satisfying what I got would be. Despite Levin's initial doubts about the actor, sparks flew fast between them. I think he saw what we had. There was something magical there, something we couldn't put our finger on. He always says that we became this third thing when we got together, something that neither of us could have become by ourselves, and I think that's true. When Levin met her husband, she didn't realize the hold addiction could have on people. Thank God for that, Downey Jr. told The Hollywood Reporter. If she knew the depths of my depravity, we wouldn't be sitting here. Many consider Iron Man and Sherlock Holmes to be the two roles that brought Robert Downey Jr. back into the spotlight. But not everyone knows that Susan Levin helped her husband land the role of the most famous detective in fiction. The film's director Guy Ritchie revealed that if Susan hadn't been in the room, Robert probably wouldn't have become Sherlock Holmes. Robert and Susan have always maintained their independence, but they're the first to say that what they can do together surpasses their expectations every time. Aside from the fact that they obviously love each other deeply, their professional and personal chemistry is unparalleled. That's why they have started their own production company, Team Downey, which is behind the actors' films like The Judge, Doolittle, and Sherlock Holmes 3. Downey Jr. says that it has been a challenge, but one that he loves. Now, every day is a game day, and I love that. I love getting to make the movies that I want to make. As for their private life, it couldn't be better either. For the first seven years of their marriage, the lovebirds focused on getting our DJ's life back on track and just enjoying being with each other. But at one point, this wasn't enough, and they started a family. Robert and Susan welcomed their first son, Axton Elias, in 2012, and two years later, the family was complete after the birth of their baby girl, Avery Rowell. Susan saved Robert in both professional and emotional ways. Even Robert Downey Jr. has admitted this. The old saying is true. Behind every good man, there's an incredible woman. I owe a huge amount, if not all, of my success to Susan. We make a great team, and all that luck I spoke about, that's Susan. Things seem to be going beautifully for these lovebirds, and we wish them many more years of happiness. Don't forget to press that bell button and subscribe to our channel to always be in tune with celebrity news.